Hey everybody, today on Henry Satus, I'm going to show you how to make Turkish sucuk kebabs. Let's get straight into it. So guys, the first thing we're going to do is get one brown onion and we just want to grate it. So what we need to do now is just squeeze this because we want to get all that extra juice out. And you just want to strain that juice. So we just want to be left with our onion mixture. Now next we want to add one kilo of ground beef to our mixture. And you just want to break it up just so it's easy to work with. Now don't go using a lean beef. This one has 20% fat to 80% meat. If you go too lean, it's going to go dry. You want all that extra fat in there. Now the first thing I'm going to add is about three crushed garlic cloves. When making traditional sujuk, we'll use garlic powder. Now we're going to add half a tablespoon of ground cumin. Half a tablespoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of allspice, half a tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of black pepper. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of ground Aleppo chili flakes. Now if you can't find this, you can use just regular ground chili or even cayenne pepper if you like because it can be spicy. Now when we're making traditional sujuk, basically this is the same recipe. The only other thing we would add at this point would be curing salt and some sort of starter culture because obviously it's a fermented sausage. So the way, the way I'm showing you is just very straightforward and easy to make kebab. You can even make patties with this, you can even shape it into sausages. So what we're going to do now is just mix this all together and you want to mix it very well to get it well combined. Alternatively, put this into all into a food processor or a mixer, but it's a small batch, so just do it by hand. Once your meat starts to come well together like that, you know it's been well mixed and well combined. So guys, what we're going to do at this point is cover this, put this into the fridge. We want to leave it for about half an hour, let all those flavours develop, and in the meantime we can preheat our grill. So you've got a couple of different options. What I'm going to do is skewer these on my long metal skewers like so. So they'll be somewhat similar to other on kebab. Alternatively, you can make these into sausage shapes, you can make it into burger shapes, you can even do it like kufte if you want. So that just comes up to you. So to do it my way, obviously we've got the meat here and I've got a bowl of warm water just here. This will just help form the shape. So we'll start by putting our hand in the warm water you want to get about a good handful of our meat mixture like that. And just against the bowl, you want to shape it into a very nice round smooth ball like that. Then just in our hand, squeeze and push it into a cylinder shape. Just like that. Now we'll get our skewer. And you want to place the center of it just onto our skewer like that and just really push it on like that and from the top stop by pushing the meat all the way onto the skewer with your thumb now dip your hand in the water again, flip it over and repeat it again and just take the excess off like that and that's one skewer ready so I'll just show you another one, so once again Put your hand in the water, get a good handful of your mixture, and we'll put that straight onto our skewer. Flip it over and repeat. Now guys, doing it this way does take a lot of practice, it took me years to perfect it. So if you are in doubt, just go ahead and make it into another shape. And you can just make them into patties, throw them on the char grill, in the frying pan, in the oven, up to you. So once your grill's ready, we'll go ahead and place our skewers straight on. After about 30 seconds, we'll just flip our skewers. What this will do is seal the meat so they're not going to fall off the skewers and keep all that flavour in. After another 30 seconds we'll flip our skewers again. 
And basically now, every 30 seconds, we're just going to flip them. Until they cook all the way through. Alright guys, so as you can see by the colour, they're pretty much cooked all the way through. So what we're going to do now is get a piece of Lebanese bread and throw it straight on. The reason for this is to heat the bread up and you want to soak in some of that juice. And we'll just take that off. And we'll set our skills that are cooked to the side. And there we have it guys, we just served that up with some hummus as well, and that's ready to be eaten. So simple as that, can go by itself, with bread, with rice, with salad, anything you like. I prefer it in bread, because it soaks up all that juice. I hope you like that guys, please like and subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat and Instagram. If you have any comments or suggestions, just leave them at the bottom and I'll see you all next time.